Let me finish. What You're I'm not, trying to, what, you, this is what I don't care about people's feelings. I could okay. go, I could be here and tell everybody to That's bomb good. all day long. All day long, I could drop the F. Yes, I can. You know, I'm willing to go to. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I'm willing to go to jail for that, and then I'll bond out. You know that, and then it's your job. I'm just. I have freedom of speech. You don't tell me what to do. Who do you think you are? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I'm speaking. I'm. I'm. I'm actually joking around. What's the problem with you? I have freedom of speech. What's your problem? You're harassing me. Harassing is. Harassing is a crime. I'm speaking. I'm not speaking about violence. Okay. Once I speak, it. listen, don't interrupt me. Don't, don't interrupt me. Stop. I'm speaking to the officer. How come you can interrupt listen, to I'm speaking to you. Right. Listen, I'm not at work, bro. But you, are right. you guys are. No. Well, you guys are. You guys have to respect our rights. You didn't I, have the right. A camera cannot. You I, don't have the right to harass people. Harassment becomes when I start no. speaking violence. I haven't talked about violence. violence. I have freedom of speech. Oh, so arrest me for calling somebody names. What are you? What am I gonna get? Life in prison? Go ahead, take me. Take me. If I call somebody a punk. What the hell? Is this your supervisor? Come here. No, I'll, I'll talk to this guy. I'll talk to this guy. I'm not supervisor. Can I get your name and badge number though? Stephen Boy Kevin, it's five three eight five. I'm also please for me. Thank you so much. He's saying I can't call people names because it it, I, it becomes harassment. And I got that's not how this works. I don't know what happened. It's the First Amendment. Well, nothing. I'm just exercising my right to video. I haven't. I haven't been. I haven't been back there. The reason. The reason I'm here is I'm an independent journalist. I'm working on a video about the service that is uh, being given here in the Austin airport. Okay. And how much we want to know how much our uh, fo public photography laws are being respected. We okay. have the right to film. This gentleman is a big baby. You okay. see, he's 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 six he's six then. five, but he's a big baby. Okay. He's very he he's so sensitive. He's calling the police over a camera guy. And okay. then we have this officer right here, who says that if 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 I call people names, which we all know that we're here in America, we're at the airport, but we're in America, we have the right of freedom of speech. As okay. long as I don't speak violence, I can say whatever I want. As long as well, I don't speak okay, violence. There are laws in the state of Texas about language, by the okay. way. Oh, really? Oh, really? So tell me what word can't I say, because I would love to go to jail for it right now. Okay, answer that. Answer that. Yeah, I want, I'm very interested. I'm, hold on. Okay, so speaking is illegal in Texas. Let's see what which words are illegal besides violence words. Let's see. Oh, actually, no. What is it? The classic misdemeanor is if somebody is offended by your words. Oh, really? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. Okay. You're not the feelings police. Okay. You're not. Trying to, what, you, this is what I don't care about people's feelings. I could okay. go. I could be here and tell everybody to f bomb exactly. all day long, all day long. I could drop the f. No, yes, I can. You know, I'm willing to go to. You know, you know, you know, you know, I'm willing to go to jail for that, and then I'll bond out. You know that, and then it's your job. You think you're gonna ruin my day? What is your name? What is your name? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't trust you. You guys are. You guys are feelings police. Okay, good citizen. You can call me good citizen. Good ci okay, good citizen. Yeah, excuse right, me. Hold on, hold Hi, can, on. can we get actual cops here who know that we're okay. in America and that we have freedom okay, of speech? You need, you're not listening to me, sir. I want actual cops here. Let me let me get this. That, that actually know that we're in America and we have freedom of speech. Is that correct? That you're journalists? Mm -hmm. Okay, as journalists here at the independent, airport. Independent journalists. Okay, you do need to speak with also the PIO. No, ma'am. No, yes, no, 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 we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Just call your supervisor. Jackson? Call your supervisor. I don't want to speak to any of you. You guys are all uneducated. Call your supervisor. I need a, I need a sergeant. I need a sergeant or a lieutenant or a captain or somebody above right now. You guys are all losers. You don't know what you're talking about. I hope you know what, you, what we're talking about. It's, it's the First Amendment. You look like you know what we're talking about. I hope you don't back this up. They're talking about people's feelings. Can Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, little princess. I'm sorry, princess. I, I hurt your feelings. What's your name? Okay. What is that? Whitley. Whitley. Thank you. Whoa. Look at these guys. Once once we establish, you know what you know what's gonna happen? Once I establish that with your supervisors, that freedom of speech is allowed in America, which I already know. But once we make sure that your supervisors know. Everyone here is going to get the F-bomb. So speaking to my supervisor for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone here is going to get the F-bomb right after I'm done. I promise. I promise. You guys interesting people for, for you guys interesting people for, for freedom of speech? Are you guys crazy? I'm not giving you my information. I'm you giving y'all mine. I'm well, just that's asking. That's because you work here. I'm not. I'm not a public servant. I didn't say you have to. I'm asking okay. you as a and courtesy. And I'm telling you, no, sir. You, you, you get no courtesy. No. 
Not, you get no courtesy. Look at this guy. How many people you arrested for, for saying bad words? How, ma how many people you arrested for saying bad words? Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Yep. That type of thing, and they're not understanding. You're not understanding. That's um, if somebody's offended by certain things, like curse words and that kind of stuff. No. Nope. No, nope. no, it is not. So, no, it is not. No, it is not. That's unconstitutional. Yes, it is. Bro, First Amendment. First Amendment. Who the hell do you think you are? You're a tyrant. No, you're being disorderly. By coming up with, with your crazy ass law. Where the hell do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Shame on you. Shame on you. And what we can say, we have freedom of speech in America. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Hey, watch out, guys. Welcome to the new America where you can't stay say bad words. Way, you so step out of the way. So stay out of the way. Oh, you're so going to you're, you're going to you're going to lie now and saying stay I'm blocking. Out of the way is that what so you're saying? Is, is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? You're going to start lying now? You're going to start lying now? Oh, loser. You're a loser. You're a loser. My sergeant is on the phone. Yeah. Would you mind speaking with him on the phone? Is that okay? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, here. Let me I'll hold on to it that way. We're still having it. Everybody can record. All right. Can you hear Sarge? Sarge. I don't really want to talk to you over the phone. These people right here are saying that the profanity is illegal in Austin. So you guys have to arrive here now because that is a, a, that is a violation of our First Amendment, right? First of all, no one is saying bad words here. But you guys are, you guys are saying that freedom of speech is illegal. It is very, very important that you make the correct decision right now and inform these officers that saying fuck you is allowed by the United States Constitution. We're just exercising our rights and documenting how the police in America loves to turn a constitutionally protected activity into a suspicious activity. Issues essential to our democracy would be impossible. Freedom of speech affirms each human's dignity and worth as individuals are encouraged to reach their full potential and participate fully in society. The Constitution does not restrict any form of speech or action. However, the Supreme Court has established the principle that free expression can be restricted at times and places. To be constitutional, restrictions on speech must not be based solely on its content, but must serve an essential government interest and leave open alternative channels for communicating this information. Freedom of the press. Freedom of the press is central to democracy providing a crucial watchdog role to detect any government wrongdoing and report back. Furthermore, it serves as a marketplace of ideas and provides regular citizens access to vital information about their government and communities. The First Amendment guarantees free speech and press. This right extends to all forms of media, print, radio, TV, and online publications as well. The Supreme Court has defined press broadly, meaning not only traditional publishers such as newspapers or magazines, but also bloggers, podcasters, or websites that post news stories or commentary online are included as press. As a result, our nation enjoys one of the highest levels of press freedom globally. Unfortunately, however, this liberty is under attack. In just two years alone, a record 40 countries, or over 50% of all nations surveyed by Freedom House, saw their scores decline on our Index of Media Freedom Index. Multiple of these countries have experienced sharp spikes in state-sponsored threats against journalists, from harassment and intimidation to murders and disappearances. Furthermore, governments often attempt to limit coverage of popular protest movements by restricting reporters' attendance or reporting abilities at protest events. Contrary to what some might believe. No one, no one has used, no one, no one has used profanity yet, officer. But no one, no one, no one has used profanity, sir. But we're establishing because I'm right here being threatened with officers, right? 
by uh, and that, that are willing to arrest me over my First Amendment right. I will be leaving after here, whether you guys make the right decision or not. But whether you look good on the internet as a sergeant for standing up for our rights, it's up to you, brother. Yes, it was just a it was just a gentleman who called because he was being filmed and he didn't want to be filmed. But no one no one has used foul language. But our our mission through through the whole country, sir, is the First Amendment, and we are not going to tolerate any any disrespect from police officers who are actually supposed to be our partners here you we're supposed to be together here uh, uh and 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 the last thing that i that i need to see is a police officer telling me in america that dropping the f word is a class c misdemeanor so well they don't they don't really need to explain it to me sergeant i am a grown man who knows how to conduct himself i i i would never be engaged in disorderly conduct i've been doing my my work my job for years and and you know i'm more than a nice person but I do stand up for my rights and for myself, and, and we expose tyranny. Listen, we're about to leave. I'm just gonna tell uh, Officer, I don't know what his name is. I'm, I'll get him on video real quick. And I'm a man of my word, man. I'm not, I'm not here to break the law or anything. I, I wanna go back home and, go to, and, and continue do, doing these videos all over the country like we're doing. But this officer needs to, needs, needs to know that he needs to go fuck himself, and I'm gonna leave. And that's it. I'm not gonna create drama, a scene, or anything here because I'm not for that. You know, I'm totally against any violence or any drama or anything like that. I'm all about peace, love, and unity, brother. But I'm all about First Amendment, so. Do you know that we, we're allowed to say fuck the police, right? Okay, what you say? Awesome, thanks. But I'm not saying that to you, by the way. Okay. But this guy's willing to arrest people that say fuck you. Okay, well, so here, here's a... Here's and no one ever said that. He okay. just brought it up, and I have to, and I, and I have to challenge it. But you know what Is there anything else I can try to do to help you out, sir? Sure, please. Can you inform him that freedom of speech okay. is still here? And right. uh, he spoke to Sarge, and um, Sarge just explained everything to him. So he understands... So he's just going to, you said you're going to be going, um, leaving this area and going to be filming somewhere uh, else in the airport, correct, sir? Yes. And then heading home? Yes. And, okay. and you know, and you know exactly what I'm about to do right now, right? Yes. Yeah, so you're going to, you're going to go, no. you're going to go downstairs or upstairs? I'm sure you heard the full conversation. You know exactly what I'm going to do right now, right? Right. You, you heard what the sergeant said, right? I can, I, I can, I, 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 to him and breach of the peace. Correct. And everything. Free, so, and pretty the much. F, about the F word. Yes. And he can say, he can uh, say, Happy fuck the police. Time. Correct. Is that what you were saying? Absolutely. Ab absolutely. So, so, absolutely. So, so, sir. Like, so, good. sir. Respectfully, go fuck yourself. Okay. This is America. You're a, you're a police officer. You signed up to do the right thing. You don't go around arresting people because of your feelings, bro. You know what I'm saying? You need to make and sure. You need to make sure. You, you threatened me. No, I did not. Okay. We're not gonna go through this again. Yeah, it's you, right, it's already on. I never threatened to arrest. Uh, you did. You said it was a class C misdemeanor. It is. Are you picking somebody up today? I was no, just no, curious. They're, they're just doing We're independent journalists. Type stuff. I got you. Um, okay. And everything. And you, you said you were gonna just do a little bit more filming at the airport, correct? Absolutely. Okay. And 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 honestly, ma'am, I, I we're not disrespectful people. I support the police. I've gone viral multiple, multiple times for the good reasons, for good police officers. And I praise good cops. And I'm not saying you're a bad guy, but bro, you, you just made the wrong, the wrong call. You're, you're an older gentleman. You don't, I don't know how long you've been saying this. Sorry. I, I never threatened to arrest you. I just you threatened to you charge me, bro. You know what a charge is? That's there for my whole life. Let me at least talk to you for long enough to explain to myself. Sure. I told you that you can't say anything that you want to. Profane language, vulgar language in public is a class C misdemeanor. It's exactly what I told you. And and I and, and and so why are you not charging me for telling because you to go fuck yourself? I can't be the one that's offended. No one can be offended, if, bro. This is America. Somebody else was around here. Bro, if somebody this, complains. This is somebody a, complain. talking about a disturbance. Uh, yeah, we got little princesses here. We do. Snowflakes. We do. Unfortunately. So you guys put people in jail over people's feelings? Is that what it is? Hey, man, Charge people? Bit. 
people in jail for breaking the law. You're supposed to stand up for freedom. You're, you're, we do. The First Amendment, the very first article of the uh, of the Constitution. No one is. No, no, no one is. You see, uh, if you guys are citating people for curse words in public, if somebody feels offended, that makes you guys tyrannical. You guys become tyrants because you guys are supposed to protect freedom of speech. That's the most. That's the most famous right that we have here in America. Absolutely. And you guys are shitting on it. This is this is America, brother. Are you from Texas? Eve, the First Amendment does not protect people from publishing falsehoods about public officials. Instead, the Supreme Court has created limited exceptions to this protection, such as requiring any defamatory statements about public figures be published with actual malice, meaning knowledge that what's being published is untrue or reckless, disregard of its truth or falsity, freedom of assembly, more commonly known as the right to gather, gives citizens the right and ability to organize and participate in activities they find meaningful. This right can help raise awareness about issues affecting them as well as communicate directly with their representatives. Complementing freedom of assembly are other First Amendment freedoms, such as speech and press, which allow individuals to voice their ideas through various avenues. The right to assemble is an invaluable right that allows people to participate in political and social movements, as well as hold private gatherings for religious, business, or any other purposes. It has also proven itself an effective tool in mobilizing citizens against government governing practices. One early example being the abolitionist movement, which used marches and gatherings to advance its cause. At ICNL, we monitor restrictions to this right worldwide and work towards ensuring all governments respect, enable, and protect peaceful assembly as part of human rights protections. To limit free assembly rights, government authorities must show there is an immediate threat or impending incitement of lawlessness. Otherwise, it would violate both the Constitution and its high purpose. For instance, in 1992, the Supreme Court invalidated an ordinance which permitted an administrator to charge higher permit fees to groups likely to cause hostilities during marches. The Supreme Court has recognized the right. This doesn't get, you don't, it doesn't get any more American like you than you. It doesn't get any more American than you, bro. And I'm Puerto Rican. It doesn't make, it, it, there's nothing more American than me. We're both as Americans together, you know? And, and I know we're at the airport, people come here from different countries. The last thing we want is to give the impression to other people coming to America that, we, that, that they are in the same place where they came from. People love this country because of the freedoms. And if we people like us don't exercise them, they're gonna be taken away. Look at this, Austin, Texas. This, somebody needs to go to jail for this and take it all the way to the high, uh, cor higher up courts, federal courts. And then they're going to find the, the city of Austin in violation of uh, uh, unconstitutional. It's going to be unconstitutional for, for them to citate people because of the First Amendment. If people don't like other people's way of thinking or speech, then that's on them. That's on them. And that's a, that's a normal thing. I'm sure you've been offended. I've been offended in the past. How many people gone to jail because you, they offended you? How many times has somebody offended you? Uh, a lot, people, a lot people of people. Try to, people try to all the time, but yeah. in our, in both, all of us, all yeah. of us, that goes towards all of us. We're, we're, we get our feelings hurt all the. Sorry, we get our feelings hurt all the time by, by people, by strangers. We're gonna be calling the police. Who even made up this law? Oh, I know. I, I again, I agree with you. I, I. I just came from. I, I just came from a city, right? I did some videos in San Antonio. And I came over here, and in San Antonio, there they got this bike, bike uh, patrol police officers, all ganging up on on the homeless on Thanksgiving Day. Hey, you gotta go! You gotta go! You gotta go! You gotta go! I got that all on video. I'm and giving them citations for camping in public when all they got the little bit of they got left in life is public property. Yeah. So we stand up for the people. We don't want no problems. We're not nasty people. I told that to this guy because he deserved it, you know? You can't just say, you can't just, you can't just do that. So hopefully, ma'am, 
even though that there's this ordinance or law or whatever here, I hope you don't go around enforcing that no, because- we, I usually just educate people. Good. And, that, and, and that, just doing that, changes their demeanor good that's and, good and that's all and i appreciate and i appreciate that uh, my job is to is to educate oh uh, you want to pound it because i always and thank you you know why i say thank you because i always say i have this saying that unless more more people like you say this uh, i'm uh, i'm gonna change my way of thinking but i always say you know, police police officers they don't they're all like a like a family. You know, they don't they don't really respect our rights. They don't they don't care about us, and and they would never educate you on the on your rights. They just get you to waive them. No, I always I, say that. My, for me, I feel my job is to educate. You. Oh yes. Is to, is to inform you so that way you can grow and I can grow. Awesome, that's, awesome. That's what it is. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And hope, um, hopefully, this order, there needs to be some protesting at the at the at the state capitol or at the city hall about this about this ordinance. Because, bro, you mean to tell me you never get mad and you don't say fuck this or fuck that? Oh, I say it all the time. Well, there you go. And that's it. Well, you better be careful. Don't say it in Austin. I'm Greg. I'm the airport duty manager here. So. Nice to meet you. I'm Enrique. I'm Enrique. So, Enrique. So we got action. Let's go. We appreciate you coming out and filming our airport and doing what you do here. The only thing we have a little issue with is we have our security apparatus in place and we absolutely can't have people in, people interfering with that. So distracting our security officers, all that sort of stuff. I get you on that. I don't mean to cut you off, but it is on video. But here's my mind. We did not say anything. He said something to us. We went over this way. So we moved closer. And we said, huh? And he just went, no recording. And that's fine. Most of the time, people do that during our yeah. during our videos. But we know that's the reason we do this because to educate. Right. We're actually here to film TSA, not him. Yeah. <laughs> now TSA, they might have. A little now they let us. Uh, and, hey. Yeah, they did good. Yeah. No one said anything. But no, you guys are more than welcome to film here. You Thank you. Are welcome to say whatever you want. You can call me whatever you want. Stick the <laughs> camera in my face. And <laughs> We don't come back. <laughs> no, we, you know we don't do that. We don't do that. It is your protected right. Absolutely, Absolutely. but we don't do that. And We're nice people, I mean, bro. You know, I, I, I do feel that, yeah, I mean, our officers do respond to this sort of thing in mass because it is an airport. It, and, you know, we makes, do require a very solid security apparatus. So. But, no, no absolutely. You guys, please, Hell yeah. Thank you so much, bro. Do what you do and keep doing it. Thank you, brother. Okay? And, like I said, thank you. come to the airport. What you want, film what you want, say what you want. You I'm, I'm Greg. Greg, and you are? I am the airport duty manager. The airport duty, duty manager. manager. Airport operations. Gotcha. So, thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank you. You're the man, bro. Yeah. We're going to get going. We yeah. really got to go, but thank you. Same. Appreciate you, you. Do what you need to do. Okay? Awesome, brother. Yeah, Keep like, standing for freedom. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, guys right of assembly as a separate right protected under the First Amendment, separate from speech and petition rights. Assemblies and marches can sometimes become contentious or violent events. Nevertheless, our Constitution ensures this right is safeguarded, protects the right of the people to petition the government for a redress of grievances. It was included by our founding fathers as part of their agenda to give underrepresented and disenfranchised citizens. Another means of participating in lawmaking that didn't involve casting ballots, specifically submitting written letters, asking president, senators, or state legislature members to change specific policies. Today, petitioning can take many forms. Any public articulation of issues, interests, or complaints intended to spur government action counts as petitioning. Letter writing campaigns, emailing politicians, testifying before tribunals, supporting or opposing referenda, and peaceful protest all come under this right. Indeed, the Supreme Court often refers back to it when making decisions related to free speech, press, and assembly rights. Petitioning can be an effective tool to advance social justice and ensure people's voices are heard. It has played an essential role in many major national social movements such as abolition and women's suffrage. Though, like all First Amendment freedoms, it does have limits. 
government officials do not owe us anything by responding or acting on our petitions. Like other forms of speech, petitioning can be limited based on time, place, and manner, such as needing a permit to organize rallies or distribute literature at parks. But this cannot be used as an excuse to restrict content or burden any particular viewpoints. Furthermore, rights can be curtailed when petitions become acts of assembly like blocking buildings or harassing passersby.